it's Chris. And it's Wyatt Elliott from Notebook Entertainment. And you're watching Horrorland News. Alright, so we're kind of on location right now, filming a bunch of stuff for other channel. Mm -hmm. uh, so we decided to <laughs> just go ahead and rather than lug equipment back and forth, make our set here today. Yeah, we made a nice little home. She yeah. decorated really nice. Found this Set decorating right. is my secret passion. We got, we got <laughs> Hank. We did bring Hank yeah, behind us. Hank. So. Can't leave without Hank. Because <laughs> we've got so much going on with our other channel this week. It's going to be a short week for us. So coming up, uh, we only have Wednesday, uh, Thanks We Hate It, where we're going to do worst horror movie couples in celebration of Valentine's Day, I guess. Aww, um, <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. Yeah, Alex likes Valentine's Day. I do not. Halloween's really the only holiday I like. So let's get into TV Roundup. No TV and no beer make Homer something something. All right, so because we've been busy, we only were able to catch another episode each of the following shows, but oh my God, guys, we have our day off coming up on Monday, yeah. and I think we're going to be binging some shows because let's start with Archive 81. Still amazing. We're on Super episode good. three, I think, of that one. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah. my god, you guys. I think the entire episode is mostly just us going, what the fuck? Right. What, what is what? going on with this lady? Who is this what? lady? Wait, is this guy lying? Wait, is Are they he... really talking? Is it a dream? Like, yeah. what? Is... But then she's saying the stuff they talk about in the dream and the video. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, this show is getting so much more than just a guy trying to piece together a puzzle right. from videotapes. It's... it's deep, guys. It's getting it's... deep. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, like I'm starting to think of supernatural stuff going Right. And and then the but. priest, and there's this priest that's, you know, questionable, and he, like, does a questionable treatment for someone who <laughs> I think is having seizures, but it's a horror movie, so she's probably possessed. But, um, it, like, I don't want to agree with him, but he's mm -hmm. like, this place is evil, get out while you can. And I'm like, well, I mean... <laughs> well, that's what we said when we were watching it. We're like, <laughs> okay, normally I'd be like, fuck off, but, right. like... In a it's horror a horror movie, movie maybe. I told him, I was like, okay, well, I don't want to take that guy's word for it, so can we get some, like, other religious leaders <laughs> right. in here to get a consensus on the building? Then right. I'll believe him. Yeah, we need to get some witches in here. Because I just don't want to take yeah. that guy's word for it. I, even a couple different priests. Like, I'm yeah. just not that guy. Flying none, he's, anything. He's suspect, so... <laughs> um, then we went on and watched episode two of All of Us Are Dead, Oh, it's tense. so good. I it's, cried in this episode. Like I teared the, up in this episode. It was a really sad part. Oh the my best God. part though was when they <laughs> referenced Train to Busan because this I whole time it. I've been telling her this reminds me of Train to Busan, right. the way the zombies act and yeah. such. And obviously they're both Korean films. But the fact that they're making reference of it right. so the characters are aware. That's how the kids are like, no, they're zombies. It's like Train to Busan. I'm like, ah, yep. is that it? So that's, I think that's mind-blowing. Oh, that's awesome. That, the action's fantastic. The zombies. I love the way the zombies move. I told, oh, my God. I told her, too. I said, all I ask in a zombie movie is to show me something I haven't seen before. And, they and are. they're fighting with doors. They're right. fighting with windowsills. Windows, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's amazing. It's, Desks. Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's great. We were pointing out, because at one point, some of the survivor kids are in, in a room, and they're, like, holding the door closed, and then a teacher comes in, and he's like, no, put the desk in, block it. And I told him, I was like, you know what's interesting is because our kids go through all kinds of, like, shooters drills and stuff, like... I bet if in a zombie movie in America, our kids would have already had those doors like barricaded and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting to me that the kids didn't think, oh, we yeah. should barricade the door, you know? Yeah, like, they I don't have those kinds of shooter drills and stuff or preparedness drills. Which, which I thought was a very interesting point, but I was getting frustrated. Like, why aren't they blocking the doors? Like, why aren't they barricading right. the doors? And it's like, well, they don't have to worry about that. I they guess, just go to school yeah. and, and learn. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so them, I guess, fellow students attacking right. them is kind of new, so... And, oh, my God, like, none of the people I want to die are dying. It's all, like, no. people that I, like... Well, one of them made me really sad, and I yeah. did. I teared up, because they showed the, like, friendship between them. I know. Like, oh, my God. I was like, what, what are if, you doing to me? I was thinking now, so what if after every main character dies, they show a montage of how right. awesome their life was? They just want me to cry, is what it is. Oh, my God. And then there's, there's the, the one kid that I like. He turned into, like, freaking Bruce Lee or something. Yeah, he was like bouncing off the wall. I was so worried about him. Oh my doing god. Doing spin so, kicks and shit. We like, definitely have our favorite characters. <laughs> oh, the show is fantastic. The show is so good. That, I just need more of the bad people to die instead yeah. of the people I like. Like, that one might be the first one we finish. 
Yeah, I, that, that's the one I want to watch first mm -hmm. when we have our day off on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and then we watched the second episode of The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. Yeah, I still like it. It's, yep. you know, I mean, it... I did it. notice. Yes. Okay, so I have a thing with words. And, like, whenever <laughs> things are to be read, I read them. That's how mm -hmm. I catch a lot of the sight gags and, like, Simpsons and stuff. Um... In this one, I know I was like, wait a minute, because she went to her daughter's grave in the first episode, and then she went to her daughter's grave in the second one, and I was like, wait a minute, the words there are different, and he's like, no, it's the same name I, and dates. I was like, no, not that. I said the part yeah. underneath where it's written. I was yeah. like, I don't remember exactly what it was on the first one, but it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. So we looked back. Yeah, we, we had went to look back, back to make sure. And she was right. It was completely. So different. there's some weird, shady things, and because I know, again, because I know the plots of these movies, like I. I told him a whole theory I have because based on based on I don't even want to say which no. movie because that'll give away what my theory is and we're trying not to do spoilers here. Um, so yeah, I've got theories, <laughs> but it's a very complicated, <laughs> complex show, and I really like it. Yeah, I, I like, but I like it that too. genre. And I was expecting it to be more silly and more parody, but than it is. But there are still jokes that yeah. still it, it is. And that fucking bitch yeah, that know, right? came back to town, like oh, throwing like, out those markers. Like, oh, the markers smell. Bitch, when, get over it. When I saw that, she's sitting in her car watching her do this, and I was like, hit her with your car right. as a joke, and then she did. It was I, was like, oh, I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, wow, talk about interactive TV. Right. This is amazing. So, yes, please check out all those shows if you mm -hmm. haven't already. I don't they're know all, you haven't. They're all on Netflix. So they're all on Netflix. They're all trending in the top. Like, yeah. yeah they're great shows. I can't mm -hmm. wait to finish them. Can't wait. All right, so let's move on to our news. Texas Chainsaw Massacre released their uh, final trailer mm -hmm. this week. Looks, I, I don't know. Watched it. I, 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 I mean, it looks cool. Like, I like the way it starts and the car crashes right. into and then you see him popping out of the field. And I don't know, like, I guess he's going to be like 80 or something. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and Sally looks super old. Yeah, like, but like way so, older than Jamie Lee Curtis. I, right. I feel like they're definitely taking a page from Halloween with right. this one. Like not not even trying to hide it. It's right. like, yeah, this is the what Scream was talking about. This is the requel. But I wish again, and I'm gonna go back to the Scream, because Scream is also doing this now. But I, I feel like Scream went the opposite way in that Sydney was a badass in every single movie before mm -hmm. the Scream Five, and then Scream Five, she was not a badass at all. Yeah, she Whereas like Jamie Lee Curtis, if you're cutting out all the other movies and you're only keeping the first Halloween movie, she was not a badass. I mean, she was. She was a survivor girl, yeah. but she wasn't really a badass no, in that one. she was a survivor. Um, she was a teenager. And then you get to 2018, and it's like, oh shit, now she's a badass. Um, and I think that's what they're doing with Sally, too. So it's really interesting to me that Scream went the opposite way, and I don't like it because Sydney has always been a badass. Well, we were talking about, too, and I know this is supposed to be about Texas Chainsaw, but... I know. I, but, my problem is I don't like, I don't but the, like but Texas very much. But the Scream is, she was, we were also talking about, and like we kind of have a theory that maybe the directors of Scream 5 weren't really diehard fans of the original. Right. Like, they liked them, I'm sure. But, like, because they treat the, the old characters kind of like as, well, they have to be here. Right. You know, so they don't really give them We have to give them to you, and yeah. we're going to ruin Dewey's life, and then, yeah. you know, it's, like, There's yeah. no emotional attachment to these characters at, at all. all. And, it, again, kind of felt like a little right. bit the way Star Wars went with They're it. trying to sell us these new characters, and on Terra, they sold me completely. Yeah. But the other ones, not so much. So, But, but anyways, Texas but, Chainsaw, I'm worried, is gonna go too much the Halloween route where Sally was just a normal person like I unless know. they tell us that she spent the last 50 years like military combat training well, why and stuff, should like, she though is she afraid he's gonna track her down or something well she got if out they're only there. if they're cutting if they're doing what they're doing with Halloween well, and I they're cutting they, out all of them except the first one I think they are then they never caught him, you know? Like, well, yeah, but why, you know, it was kind of a fluke they even got there. I don't think they even had their names or anything. Why would she even be afraid of them coming and tracking her down, you know? like uh, PTSD is, like, a powerful thing, dude, and she went yeah. through some fucking trauma. Like, she got, I mean, that dinner scene is Well, intense. of course. Oh, I'm not saying it wouldn't affect her forever, but, you know, I don't know that 
there would be a lot of, but hey, I think you know. I, I think she would at least take some self-defense classes. My problem is, is if they're going to make her like into Linda Hamilton in Terminator mm -hmm. or something instead of just a, a 50 year old, you know, traumatized woman who that's what it, yeah, it's hard to say. The trailer doesn't show a lot. Yeah. And that could be a good thing. We don't want it ruined for No, us I don't want it ruined. I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm, like I said, Texas Chainsaw Massacre series isn't one of my favorites. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The first one is, is art. It is a work yeah. of art. Um, cinematography wise, mm -hmm. the second one is is hilarious. It's, 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 right, <laughs> it's hilarious I mean, all the wrong reasons. But. Right, but from there on, I it it definitely loses me. So yeah. I'm not super thrilled for this one, but I'm I, I'm excited to see what they do. Yes, and I will say this: I think that they made so many sequels, reboots, and everything of this franchise that there was nothing left for them to try but a requel. So let's see what happens. Yeah, let's, might as well. They're following the trend, which is yeah. what happens in horror. Yeah. So that's I'm fine. I'm happens. fine with them following the trend. I just don't want them to to do exactly what everybody else mm -hmm. is doing. Like give us something different. That's I, all. Yeah, that's all we want. So. Um. So our next story. Hocus Pocus 2 is finished filming. <laughs> I know it's not full horror, but come on, guys. It's like, Halloween. It's That's kid horror. Enough. It's yeah, fine. So it's going to drop on Disney Plus this Halloween. Um, Adam Shakeman is directing, in case you didn't know. And I love Adam Shakeman. I've been a fan of his. He did, in case you don't know, yeah, uh, sure. A Walk to Remember. He directed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that movie. I'm not... I'm, I'm so <laughs> not a rom-com person, but that movie... There's a few she likes. Though. Yeah. Um, he did Hairspray. Oh, okay. And he did Rock of Ages and a couple other things. Which hairspray? Um, the remake? The remake, the okay. new one. Because new he's a choreographer. He's oh, a dancer choreographer. And I actually first knew, found knew of him. Like, I didn't know he did Walk to Remember, honestly. I first knew about him when he was a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, which oh, I love that show. Interesting. Um, and that's where he gained like a lot of popularity and fame was being a judge on that show. I think he may have choreo choreographed a couple of the dances and stuff. And then when Hairspray came out, he he did they did a Hairspray theme episode on that show too. Oh, but that was a good show. So you think I do want to point out what I said was very dumb. I just asked her if he directed which Hairspray. Clearly, John Waters directed the original. Right. I'm aware of that. Right. So don't write any letters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so Disney's not act D Disney has not actually announced that it's coming out on Halloween, but it'll be out probably. If it October. doesn't, what are they even doing? Like, yeah. I mean, so uh, I think I think everybody's speculating Halloween, but it's not an official statement yet. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, to say that. Uh, my guess is it'll be released sometime in the uh, month of October. Right. But... Uh, if not, like again, if not, what are you even doing? Exactly. Like... What? Yeah, you, you're just throwing everything away. That's stupid. Right. Although I want to say the movie when it came out was in the summer when it actually was released. I'm not 100% on been, that, but, but I don't think it was I don't think they Halloween. knew what they had. And it no. was a slow start. Like, it's not it, like it was a smash hit right no, when it, wasn't. it came out. No, it wasn't. It so wasn't actually at all. I loved it right away, but I'm, I'm a weird child. I was a weird child, so. But it took it took time to be the classic that it is, as some do. As some, no, sure. You know, sure. do. But it yeah. is a classic, and I'm glad that it's appreciated now. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited for the sequel. <laughs> I, I can't wait for a brand new one. A must, a must, a must, a must, a must. Um, all right, so our final story. Stephen King adaptations are coming out, like, everywhere, you guys. Wow. Um, so, first of all, The Boogeyman is filming for Hulu, and Sophie Thatcher from Yellow Jackets and Chris Messina are starring, and Rob Savage is directing. Now, in case you didn't remember, it's or, or you haven't read it in a while, uh, The Night Shift Collection, it was one of the short stories in there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. So you might also recognize the short stories Children of the Corn, Maximum mm -hmm. Overdrive, and The Mangler. Those were all in that book. So that's where The Boogeyman comes from. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then Bloomhouse Television acquired the rights to turn the novel later, which just came out last year, <laughs> um, into a series, limited series that'll star Lucy Liu. So oh, yay! Cool. I haven't gotten to read that book yet, so I don't know what it's <laughs> about. I yeah, Boogeyman. At least I know what that is. I have no yeah. idea what this one is, so I'm excited. What's that for? What platform did they say? Uh, it doesn't say. It just said they're gonna shop it around. Cool. Um, so yeah, they've just acquired the rights. So they okay. and and announced Lucy Lou. So they probably haven't even started filming yet. Right. Oh, of course. Right. Um, and then J.J. Abrams' company, Bad Robot, will produce a limited series of Billy Summers, which was also published last year. Because Stephen King just writes like that's yeah, all he no. does. Yeah. Um, and in I've case, heard of this one though. Yeah. That this one I've heard again. I haven't read it, but I've heard of the book. So. Yeah, I'm aware of this one. Um, and in case you didn't know, J.J. Uh, Abrams and Bad Robot already produced Lissy's story, Castle Rock. 
Hitchcock and the 11-22-63. I never finished it because I watched it back when I only had like a, t a trial of Hulu. <laughs> and I didn't get a chance to finish watching it. I really need to remember to finish watching it, but I loved what I saw. Of Castle lot. Rock? Uh, uh, no, not Castle Rock, the 11. Oh, yeah, 11. Yeah, it was really good. I heard Castle Rock was good, though. I yeah, I heard Castle Rock. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard Castle mm -hmm. Rock was a bunch of, like, it's a bunch of histories yes. and characters it's all like coming together. It's like a town that they all live yeah. in. Yeah. So I'm, I'm totally down yeah, for that. Yeah, I know. That. I don't know why I haven't watched that yet, but... All right, so let's get to our indie film spotlight. My advice to a young filmmaker is make a movie every week. Make films, no matter what anybody says, and you'll be a filmmaker. All right, so another little short that I found on YouTube. It's called They Hear It. It came out last year, 2021. It's from the Julian Terry YouTube channel. It's written and directed by Julian Terry, and it's starring Aria Walters and Bray Chanadet. And Aria did fantastic. She yeah. it was really good, this little yeah. girl. It's kind of one of those movies where she's mainly the one, there's also her little brother, but um, if, she, if she's not good, then you're not yeah, going to buy it. Yeah, you're not selling it, but she sold it. She sold it, yeah. Like, I liked that, and I liked a lot of the shots they chose yeah. and some of the atmosphere. It's a very the, suspenseful. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're on the edge, like, yeah. what is going on? And the sound design is really good, too. Yep. I like the sound editing a lot. There is one part where her dog, like, runs off into the woods following a sound and then you hear it like yelp and I'm like no that's that's where I'm running into the woods and mm -hmm. me and some ghosts are swinging like right. we're <laughs> like yeah. no you're not you're not hurting my dog <laughs> yeah that, that's the only you like know. I guess she's 13 but I think even at 13 <laughs> I would have been like alright ghost let's do this like they don't show anything yeah I don't know it's a ghost whatever, yeah but, and know. I don't know that it's a ghost but because we don't monster. really see we don't yeah. really see what it is that's out there no. Um, so yeah, I think they did a great job. It's only about eight, nine minutes long. Um, it really pulled me in. I watched it. Like she shot it first and showed it to me and I watched it. It really pulled me in instantly. Like I said, I just liked, it looks, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. Like, and at the end they say they're turning it into a feature film. And yep. Uh, they have plans to make it in a full feature with David Robert Mitchell writing and then Julian Terry will direct. Nice. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for um, yeah. news about that. That's Because that's... I'd watch it. I'd watch a full feature. Yeah, like I said, I mean, if it's anything like this one, you know yeah, you're in for a really suspenseful good. ride. So. It was it was shot really well. The atmosphere was really good. The mm -hmm. the pacing, like you never got bored. You were no. you were with it the whole time. Like, yep. oh my God, what's going to happen? You know? Yeah, and it is. It, it's one of those movies where it's a lot of what's around the corner, creeping, mm -hmm. you don't know. You're expecting jump scares, yeah. but then they don't happen. They, exactly. Like, yeah. But so, all positive things, though. Yeah, it's, it's well a done. great little short. Well so done. definitely check it out. Check out anything else he has on his channel. Yeah, we'll leave um, the link in the description, exactly, as always. As always. And please subscribe to the channel. Yep. And while we're talking about that, please yeah. subscribe <laughs> to our channel as well. Yep, please do like and subscribe so you get all of our content here coming up. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified. Yeah, because YouTube's algorithm isn't always great. It's about notifications. So, yep. Yep, so all right. Well, I think that's our show for tonight. Yeah, it was a right? short one today. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we got to get back to production on the rest of our, on, the, on our other channel now. Yeah, so. tons of other stuff to do. So. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Eve has become a night of frolic. Oh. Where children wear costumes and run amok. Oh. Amok! Amok, 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 amok! Oh, we need just one child. Yep.